what is going on, agents? All right, so I just wanted to take this moment and make a video regarding what to expect from the Division Two in 2020 and why we should be excited for the future of this franchise. You know, we've already come across the fact that it's going to be a, a little downtime right now with the Division Two. There's not much is going to be going on. We might get an apparel event. We might not. I really hope we do get an, a Christmas apparel event like we did in Division One, um, but. Content wise, you know, we're not going to have the new raid. The episode three doesn't come out into, until 2020. But we have so much to look forward to. Now, this video isn't so much a rant rather than just a speculation of what to expect and why the devs are doing it this way. So, we've come to know that the division has a great storyline. You know, we have Aaron Keener, we have uh, the virus, we have everything that has been going on in the world of the division from the Green Poison to DC-62, from the Black Tusk uh, to the Last Man Battalion to President Ellis. We have so much going on in this story. It's, it's a lot. You know, it's a lot of story lore. And it's taking multiple paths. You know, the division is trying to understand what the Black Tusk are doing at the same time what President Ellis is doing and why he betrayed the country at the same time what's going on in New York and why Aaron Keener is back there. So there's just so much going on. So what I'm basically trying to get at is there's a reason why we don't have survival. There's a reason why we don't have underground. There's a reason why we don't have everything that the community wants. And that is because there is just too much story going on in this world. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, I, for one, am enjoying the story. I, for one, am very excited to see what is going to happen in episode three. Yeah, it might be two missions and going to New York via helicopter and trying to find Aaron Keener who we're probably not even going to see there, and we might have a confrontation, and he might get away, just like President Ellis did at uh, Camp White Oak. But it's going to be a lot more than that. And the reason why I'm speculating, and again, this is just a speculation video. I don't have any sources. I don't have anyone on the side saying, hey, you know, say this in your video. Say that. I don't have that. This is pure speculation. But... I just wanted to give an idea, and probably, it, and more than likely, this is going to happen. It might not happen the way I'm saying it, but it probably is going to happen. Um, I have no doubt that we can expect survival, underground, resistance, or any other type of event here in year two. And the reason being is because there's just so much going on in this story that they have to gather all the information first before they can, you know, put out survival, before they can put out underground, before they can put out resistance. And the reason being is let's take let's go back a little bit and let's look at the division one. The division one came out and we did have a timeline. We did have an idea of what we can expect from uh certain content drops you know we had the incursions that was the very first content drop and everybody was looking forward to it because it was kind of like a raid all in all it really wasn't there wasn't any mechanics involved it it was more like a very over glorified mission um it wasn't until the last uh incursion came out that made it feel a little bit more like a raid because of the mechanics but anyways i digress um if we take a look at the timeline in the division one we saw that, you know, the expansions that they so-called had were survival, underground, and then we had our resistance, and then that was pretty much it. Incursions was also the first DLC to come out. And if you look at the Division, there wasn't much story there, you know. Okay, we knew that Black Friday happened in New York City. That was, you know, ground zero for the virus outbreak. We knew that was happening. We knew that Aaron Keener got away at the end of the mission. We knew that Last Man Battalion was evidently the Black Tusk trying to take control of New York City, and we had to stop um, General in, in his tracks. You know, I mean, we had that story, but then that was it. There was nothing else regarding you know, New York City. You know, survival DLC that was trying to go, trying to make it through a. a uh, survival environment by extracting a antivirus canister and that was it all we had to do was get the antivirus canister to uh, to Dr. Kennel and that was it I mean that was that was survival incursions were just you know 
Last Man Battalion had their Humvee station at, at uh, what was it, the power plant, underneath the power plant, trying to take off the water. We had um, Stolen Signal. We had uh, the, uh, what is it, um, the Four Horsemen and, you know, Dragon and everything like that. We, like, we had all of that, but that was all very minuscule. That was all very like, hey, these guys are doing something on the side, got to take care of it, and that's it, you know. Whereas the Division Two, we have so much. We've got the Black Tusk, you know, trying to take control of all of the strongholds. We've got the Black Tusk going to Camp White Oak, extracting the president because they have so much information there about what's really going on. We have the Black Tusk going to the Pentagon because they're trying to get the canister away from us, the division. There's so much going on with the Black Tusk. And I can see why they want to make the Black Tusk a primary uh, enemy for this game and to have everybody else as a subsidiary, you know, I mean, yeah, we're our raid. The next raid is going to be focused on the true sons, uh, what have you, whatever it is that they're going to be doing with the, uh, the plant that they're going to, you know, that's a side story. The main focus, the main story that they're trying to portray right now is the black tusk and what they're doing, why they're doing it, how they're doing it. And the reason behind everything that they're doing. Whereas in the Division One, there really wasn't much of a story. You knew what was going on, and that was it. It was closed. Aaron Keener got away, but they're still bringing him back. Where I'm going with this is that our episodes are not like the survival, the underground, the resistance. They're not like that. They're all story-based. They're all, this is what's happening. We're progressing the story further, going on into year two. You know, underground in the division one wasn't bad. Like you, you knew people were down in the underground. You had to take care of the enemies down in the underground. Um, so that they couldn't establish roots down there. That's the basics of what the underground was. And that was it. So every, all in all, where I'm going with this is that I have a feeling, a very strong feeling. In fact, that the next DLCs, not episode three, but the next set of DLCs that'll come out for year two for the division two are going to be geared toward maybe having a DLC focused survival. Hey, you know, maybe the speculation of this next survival will be you got to get through Washington, D.C. and, you know, you're going through a sandstorm and there has been a location of antivirals coming around and you know, the Black Tusk are trying to get in, and you're going to have to fight the Black Tusk. Or maybe the Hunter is going to have more of a story. Maybe they're going to have more of a basis, more of an understanding of why are the Hunters here, you know? They're not just killing Division agents just to kill them. There's a specific reason why they're here. Are the Hunters an elite task force that the Black Tusk have that haven't been notified yet? I mean, that could evidently happen. But I think each and every... DLC for year two is going to be focused around the what it is that we want. So survival will be the focus of that DLC for however many months long. And then underground, if they decide to do an underground, will come out and have it be a primary focus of what's going on. And then if they decide to even do a resistance, in all honesty, I feel like the resistance in the division one was kind of a, you know, it would be a very interesting, unique thing if all the clans got together and you had to fight all the clans in, in a horde mode. Okay, I get it. That that sounds reasonable. That sounds very fun. But there was nothing behind it. I could see them doing something similar of that, maybe with the other subsidiary factions, like the underground faction that we see with the chains, maybe the guys with the bow and arrows. You know, I see that type of stuff. I could see that happening. I don't really see it happening. I don't see resistance happening with the main factions, the hyenas, the true sons. I don't really see that happening. Now, we have an understanding that the hyenas have been working with the Black Tusk. They were funded by the Black Tusk to make sure that DC was, you know, under control and that uh, they established their roots and that the Black Tusk could come in and do what it is that they had to do. Like, I get that, but I really do not see resistance as, as something that they're going to be pushing forward because it really looks like that what they're trying to do is make this story more than what it is. Um, I mean, for all we know, not next year, definitely not next year, but maybe the year after that, we might get a peek at the Division Three. Maybe that could go international. 
maybe it could go into another another city, maybe Atlanta, Georgia, where the CDC is. Like I could see that happening. I can also see survival happening. I can see underground happening. I think those are the two main things that we have to look forward to in year 2020, in year two for the Division Two. Um, but other than that, guys, I mean, I don't really see anything else happening regarding with the franchise. I'm very looking very much forward to episode three. I'm looking forward to, you know, going back to Coney Island and fighting it out with Aaron Keener, hopefully. But in all honesty, I don't want him, I don't want us to go there, kill him, and then that's it. I want to see this story progress because I have a feeling that there's a lot more to the story that's going on that we're not being told, you know. There's a lot more behind the scenes that's going on with the Black Tusk that we're going to find out probably in episode three, but definitely something more in uh, 2020, in year two for the Division Two. So other than that, guys, um, I just want to put this video out there. I want to put my thoughts out there. You know, it's hard to say this stuff on Twitter. It's hard to say it through Reddit. Um, so I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you guys... Are you guys looking forward to episode three? Are you looking forward to year two of the division two? Is it too soon to start thinking that far ahead or is it the perfect time, you know, to start understanding, hey, you know, there might be other things coming on. There might be other things in the background that, you know, no one is telling us. And that's fine because when the time is right, we will know what's coming. We will know what to expect from the division year two and to see where it's going to progress. I'm really looking forward to, you know, what they have in store for E3 if they decide to attend E3, which more than likely they probably are because it's going to be a big deal. Um, getting the player base back. Episode three looks amazing. It looks a lot of, like a lot of fun. Um, again, speculation, uh, the story behind it. I'm looking forward to seeing what the new raid is going to be like. It, it, we have a lot in store. It is downtime right now. It is time to kind of like take a breath, step back, grind out what you want to grind out before episode three hits. So again, guys, down in the comment section, let me know what you think. Do you think we can expect survival and underground and possibly resistance in uh, year two of the Division Two? Do you think that they're going to bring um, more story, more lore within those DLCs separately rather than just have them be standalone DLCs. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that likes. Likes are appreciated. If you enjoy this, if you enjoy the Division 2 content that I'm putting out, definitely hit that subscribe button. You know, likes are appreciated. Subs are definitely respected. I hope to hear you guys soon. I'm definitely trying to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year. Uh, that way, next year, I can do probably do sole focus on the Division content. Uh, this is my game. This is what I do. I enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think, okay? I wish you guys the best of luck. I wish you guys a happy holidays. Please be safe, and I will catch you around next time. Take care.